Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a tech hiccup that left a lot of us scratching our heads. Why did Pico break some older Chromecast devices? Spoiler alert, it's all about an expired certificate. I'm here to break it down in simple terms, so even if you're not a tape expert, you will know exactly what happened and why. First things first, what's a certificate? Think of it like an ID card for devices owned by servers on the internet. Just like your driver's license proves who you are. A digital certificate proves that a device or server is who it says it is. In this case, Google's Broncast relied on a certificate to verify that it was connecting to the right services. But here's the kicker, the certificate expired. And when that happens, it's like showing an outdated ID, just easy to accept it. Let's break it down further. Imagine Imagine you are going to a secure club that only admits people with a valid membership card. Your card or certificate is an expiration date and once that date passes, the bouncer won't let you meet even if you're still a member. That's exactly what happened with these compressed devices. Now behind the scenes, servers and bar devices continuously exchange certificates to authenticate one another, basically to ensure that each side is who they claim to be. When the certificate expired, the server wouldn't repromise the device, so it effectively shut it out simple as batch. It's like going to a store with a coupon that expired last week. Even if you really want to use it, the cashier just can't accept it. In the digital world, expired certificates cause similar roadblocks. So why did Google let this happen? Well, when it comes to certificates, a renewal is usually automated, but sometimes glitches occur. In this case, something went awry on the server side and the renewal process did kick in as expected. Some might say oops, while others might raise an eyebrow at Google's strong reputation in handling such issues. Personally, I find it both surprising and a bit ironic. He's a tech giant known for pushing up its and setting standards, yet this misstep disrupted user experience. It sells as a reminder that even the even best systems can hit a snug. It also makes you wonder if there might be unrelated issues or if this is just a one-off technical oversight. So what can we expect moving forward? Google is already working on solutions to ensure that certificates are renewed seamlessly to prevent future alternatives. For users, it might be a good idea to check if your device has any available uplets or to reach out for support if you notice issues persistent. For me, this situation highlights the importance of robust plug-in processes. Even things seem pretty uh, streamlined on the surface. It's a lesson for every tech company. Automation is great, but there's no substitute for constant vigilance. That's it for today's breakdown of the Chromecast outage. I hope this explanation helps you understand not just what, but also why the why behind the issue. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, search Tribe for more tech explainers, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Google handled this situation well, or was this a media mistake? Thanks for watching.